Welcome back. In this video, let's take a look at our second built-in module, which is the events module. The events module allows us to work with events in Node.js. An event is an action or an occurrence that has happened in our application that we can respond to. Using the events module, we can dispatch our own custom events and respond to those custom events in a non-blocking manner. Let's understand with an example. Now the concept of events is not Node.js specific. It exists even in our everyday life. So before we dive into code, let me first walk you through a non-technical day-to-day scenario. Let's say you're feeling hungry and head out to Domino's to have a pizza. At the counter, you place your order for a pizza. When you place the order, the line cook sees the order on the screen and bakes the pizza for you. Nothing out of the ordinary, but it is something we can relate back to events. In this scenario, order being placed is the event. Baking a pizza is a response to that event. If this scenario is clear, what I want now is for us to use the built-in events module and write code that can mimic this day-to-day -day scenario. I'm here at index.js, which is sort of our main module. It is empty to begin with. If you remember, to make use of a built-in module, we first have to import it. And to import a built-in module, we use the require function. So at the top, const, Event emitter is equal to require node colon events. Make sure to not prefix dot slash. Now you might be wondering why did I call the constant event emitter and not events? Well, that is because the events module returns a class called event emitter, which encapsulates functionality to emit events and respond to events. You could call it events, but event emitter is more appropriate. In the next line, let's instantiate the class. Const emitter is equal to new event emitter. Now using this emitter object, we can emit events. Let's emit an order placed event. To emit an event, we use the emit method. So emitter dot emit. The method accepts the event name as argument. Let's call it order pizza. So when execution reaches line number five, an event is broadcasted in our code. But that is pretty much it. To respond to this order pizza event, we need to register a listener. For that, we use the on method. So emitter.on, and this method accepts two parameters. The first parameter is the event name, which is order pizza. The second parameter is the listener. A listener is a callback function that gets executed when the corresponding event is emitted. If you can recollect from the previous video, a callback function allows us to delay execution till an event has occurred. Let's add an arrow function, which simply logs to the console. Order received. Baking a pizza. And that is pretty much it. If we run node index, we see the message, order received, baking a pizza. So dispatching and responding to custom events courtesy of the events module. Sometimes when emitting an event, you may want to pass data to the listener. For example, when ordering a pizza, I want to specify the size and a topping. To achieve that, all you have to do is specify the arguments after the event name while emitting the event. Let's add two arguments, large, which is the size, and mushroom, 
which is the topping. When you do this, Node.js will automatically pass on the arguments to the listener function. We can now accept size comma topping. In the log statement, baking a size pizza with topping. If you run node index, we see baking a large pizza with mushrooms. It's also worth noting that you can register multiple listeners for the same event. For example, I can add emitter.on the same order pizza event, but this time a different listener. It still receives size automatically. And within the function body, if size is equal to large, we're going to add a log statement serving complementary drink. We run node index and we see the expected output. Now it is very important to note that we are not blocking execution by writing code in this manner. If I add a log statement just before emit, do work before event occurs in the system and run the code, we see the log statement first and then the logs from our pizza order. The code execution does not stop at line five for the order pizza event to occur. All we are doing is delaying the execution of a function till a certain event is signaled in the system. This is known as event-driven programming and is used quite a lot in Node.js. All right, let me quickly summarize what we have learned in this video. The events module is a built-in module that allows us to work with events in Node. The module returns an event emitter class, which we can instantiate to create an emitter object. Using the emitter object, we can register event listeners using the on method and emit an event using the emit method. The emit method accepts the event name followed by arguments that need to be passed on to the listeners. When an event occurs, Node automatically calls the listeners for the corresponding event, passing in the appropriate arguments. Events allow us to write code in a non-blocking manner. Now we are not quite done with the events module and the event emitter class. In the next video, let's learn how to create our own module that builds on top of the event emitter class. I'll see you in the next one.